Hi everyone, I'm Chad. Welcome to the Maker's Bench. This video is a video on the uh, sketch constraints and this one will cover the collinear constraint. Uh, what collinear means is uh, collinear, it means two lines that are going to run in going to run collinear. So they follow the same line. So what that means in essence is if so you have a line here and you have a line here. Okay, and you want these two lines to be the same on the collinear. You want them to be running on the same line. It's there. You go. So you click the collinear constraint. You click each line, and they now become collinear. There. It's like the coincident constraint, except for line to line, right? So instead of that point, you don't have the same flexibility, of course, to put it onto a circle or the center of a circle. It's line to line. Um, a lot of times you might have a part that does something like this. You know, maybe you got something here, and this goes over here, and it comes down, and you're like, okay. So now you want to say that these two lines are collinear. So you can click on this line, and this line, and that's it. Now when, when you move this point around, that thing, they're going to stay collinear to each other, and that's always going to be that way. And that's really... It for collinear. There's not much to it, uh, but it's a very powerful constraint, just like any other ones. It, uh, I use it a lot um, because it does it does work work well in a lot of situations. So that's it for collinear. You know, if, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, put them down in the comment section below. I would I do enjoy reading them. Um, and if you have any questions, I certainly will read the comments and I will try to answer your questions if you have any. So I hope you enjoyed this video on collinear constraint, and uh, we'll see you next time.